Good morning. It's Sunday and we've come for a walk to somewhere called Cartmel. I was just looking there. I'm going to see if I can do something with my phone. I'm not sure if I can do this, but the governor, my AK wife, is there. I don't know if you're looking at me now or Cheryl down there. So, this is Cartmel, famous for a pudding called the Cartmel Pudding. It's an absolutely beautiful little place up in Cumbria, Lake District. How peaceful is that? And I thought, well, you know what? I'll show everybody where we are. God knows what she's doing down here. There's just some workmen's toilets that have paid for her. It's 20p to go to the toilet. Surely she's not going in then. Cheryl! I'll pay for you to go in. She's a tight sod, honestly. She'd rather go in then than pay 20 pence. Hang on. Oh, she's not. It's in what's been to the toilet. Cheryl's picking it up. I was just telling them you were going to the toilet in one of these here, see? Because it's 20 pence to go to the toilet up there. But then, she says, well, I'll go in one of them down there. There for now. So this is Camp Mall, everybody. And what's it like here, babe? All in pubs today. Fuck out. Having a drink. I'm not saying much because people were looking at me before. Queen house over sitting in there in a bit, me trying to balance on these stones. What Sid's walking on? We've just been out a cup of tea, haven't we? And they, uh, they're not croissants. What were they? What were them things? Um, Pano chocolate, Pano chocolate, it were excellent. So now we're having a walk around here, private. It's locked. Permissive path. What's that? Permissive, isn't that like sex and that? I'm sure it's like for sex that path. Don't know if we should be down here, Cheryl. I'm not walking right back up there. It's just private, but it's locked. Can't get through this now. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's it. Done. So, back to me. Uh, that's it. That's a little path down at Cartmel. I'm going to take you into the village. Now I can do my phone like this. I love it. I absolutely love this. Going on here, chatting to nobody. Uh, I know there's about 60 people that watch it. Some right... Look at Blackberry's there. I'm a nightmare for Blackberrying. Aren't I? I love Blackberrying. And Cheryl loves making Blackberry crumble. And apple and Blackberry pies with it. So I'd spend all day out like burying an apple in. So I'll post this up later on. Uh, they were watching me, that's all. Thinking he's talking to his set. I'll put this up later when I've uh, got back. I might actually just upload it now. Cheryl says, it costs us a fortune to do that while they're out. Uh, uploading it straight away. Wait till we get back to you with our Wi-Fi. I have it on roaming. Uh, uh, 
don't hurt does it and this here is Cartmel Chapel Methodist Chapel there you go old Holden's old primitive Methodist because it's an old Methodist chapel there's that many at Methodist I go on about religion don't I but there's that many primitive Methodist ordinary Methodist what other Methodists is this, Cheryl? There's loads of them, isn't there? I've said primitive. Normal Methodists. But there's a lot of Methodists, isn't there? Yeah. Don't close up. Don't the close ups, she always says. Anyway, so that's the chapel. I would have gone in, but there's some old deers having something to eat, and it's not fair, uh, me interrupting them. Uh, so this is where we're going to go to. It's gorgeous, isn't it? We're staying uh, somewhere near Farsori. So this is about half an hour from there and you're all thinking that looks familiar yeah it's because where we've just been just come from governor's view oh. i've been looking at these tips on uh, youtube and it says we camera around don't be moving camera around too much because people don't like it. I'll just show you cardinals. There's a skip there. I'll be looking in that when we go past. I can't see. Oh, we just walked past oh, uh, to that thing there. Yeah. Perfect English. So, this is it. We've had a walk round here earlier on. I was saying it's well famous for that Cartmel uh, pudding thing, innit? They sell it at Tesco's or Sainsbury's. Look at that barrel there. Oh, I thought that said the old, the old git house, not the old guest house. It might be the old get's house. So I'm going to knock on the door and see if there's an old get live there. The old get's house. Bye right round to here. What are they going down there for? Oh, she's just having a look. That's it. Cartmel Village. There's not a lot I've got to sell you here, but it's lovely. Just have a walk round. Oh, they've got a beauty salon. Like we need one of them. Like that's going to work. I didn't mean on you. I know you'd say that. When I'd said that, I thought she's going to say, well, that's not nice. There's an art exhibition for anybody who's arty. Yeah, they have a race course here. Cartmel race course. I don't know if it's 28th of this month, but this is it. It's ugly entry, is it? But, this is What? Yep. So next antique collector's fair is August, October, weren't it? 
we might have to come to that. It's next weekend. That's the race course anyway. So I'm going back up there. Oh, it's coming a little bit good. Yeah. Well, nice little place. <coughs> so, out and about having a walk round to help with mental health. Uh, and it does work. I'd, I'd advise everybody who feels, I can't call it mental health all the time, who sometimes feels a bit down and uh, a bit not the same. Get out and have a walk around, that's what my doctor said, as I've told you. And Dr. Afsal was 100% right. It does help. And Cheryl says straight away this morning, come on, we're going for a walk. We're going up to Cartmel. Get ready, you fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> she, didn't. she says she won't milk with toast and a cup of tea. With damson jam, my favourite. These are all looking at me thinking that I'm absolutely mental because I'm just talking to me, so I'm walking around. That's the cart mill. Yeah, that must be old priory. Yeah, huh? Ah, that national trust. Oh, what? Yeah, <laughs> chocolate. Need a bleeding mortgage to buy stuff from some of the shops. So yeah, out for a walk. We're pretty quiet next week. We've got seven funerals, uh, which lads will be very happy about. Because last week, oh, we were horrendous in that heat, as you can imagine. And the team were absolutely brilliant. We took loads of water out for uh, families that we were looking after and caring for. Okay, look, Cavendish Arms. Yeah, so we took loads of water out, uh, making sure our families were all all right. Uh, see these steps here? Looks like no, doesn't it? 1837. It was for coach. So when they pull up with coach here, they get out of coach on that level and walk down steps. You see them at a lot of old buildings. They're there. So they would have, coach would have pulled up here with horses. Having a pee. Yeah. Yeah. See, old coach house. That's where they obviously stayed, and I ain't been down here, so I weren't making that up about stairs where I obviously coach went down there. See, it's not only a gardening program, this, uh, what I'm doing. Okay. Stunningly beautiful, isn't it? It's not only a gardening thing, because I've shown you about my tomatoes and growing tomatoes and peppers. Coming on well, I'll show them you. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking you to interesting things. All right, when we go out for a day or when we go for a walk. Uh, speaking about my demons. certain vermin caused me to have we won't mention his name because he'll be straight away on phone to his NAFD oh he's talking about me again I'm not going to mention your name yet uh, oh, one or two of them actually anyway I can't talk about that because I'll just I'll be out on a tangent so where are we going now? 
She'll walk around all fucking day, honestly. Yeah. I don't know where we're going next. It's not very late. It's about 12 o'clock. Uh, something like that. Oh, this brings us up to that old church, I think, up here. It's about 12-ish, so we'll be going somewhere else before we go back to Farsori. And we're near Beatrix Potter's house. And there's loads of Chinese people there. Not that I've got out against Chinese, so don't be saying, Oh, it's racist, look. They introduced us to pandemic and all that. I know it weren't their fault. They like bats, uh, if you believe that. I'm not mourning. That's not mourning. I just said that there were a lot of Chinese, which they were, weren't they, this morning. They were everywhere. They were like locusts. Click, click, click with bleeding camera. Uh, I don't mind. That's a nice sign, isn't it? Uh, so, I don't know, I weren't mourning about them. I don't think I were. They're lovely people. Anyway, so we thought, well, we'll have a run out and get away from these for a day. And we've got a car mouth. And this is where we're going to walk from now. From the churchyard. Yeah, this is where we started when we arrived. Dogs must be not allowed to soil the churchyard. Easy, I said, look, not soiling nothing, are you, Sid? We always keep him on a lead when we're out. Just a bit. John Lowe. 1872, he's 64. For some reason, and I don't know why, we nearly always end up in a cemetery. Uh, something draws me to it. I don't know what it is, it always has done. No matter where we go, it might be big. Like arrows like They look like arrow windows, don't they? Probably a barn. So, they reckon that you can't buy your way into heaven. Money is no good. But yet, why are the richest buried closer to church door? Because that's what used to happen. In Victorian days, in Edwardian days, the more money you got, the closer you got to church entrance. And it was just like inside a church. The poor people sat at back and the wealthy landowners sat at front and they used to pay for that privilege and I think it was about a penny a week and they'd have their own I've got to click a car, cars fucking hell there ain't cars there yeah. on the left she's just going to a car I'm just going to try and find my clicker thing it's in my pocket they filming me, filming them all there. This group, hang on, let me... Come out! They won't move for us, you have to like squeeze around them. That lot. They've like made them walk right around. Back to this. Uh... Back to this. So the richer that they were, the closer to church door they got, thinking they got to heaven quicker or whatever, I don't know. But then when they went into church on a Sunday, the poor people sat at back, if there were any seats. A lot of them stood up. Uh, and that's how it were. So I don't like that. I think it's crazy, but I've got to be quiet here. Take you in here nearly have a look. I'm looking for holy water, but there ain't not. Is it just being Catholic? Oh, it's the silent cross. Mm. 
beautiful is this? There's some calming about a church. Uh, I know it sounds not many people go to church today, do they? I don't like that, but there is some calming and it grounds you. I don't go to church, I don't go to pray and all that. Uh, see, all these here, this is what we're trying to say. Look at all these gravestones everywhere. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see in this church or not. So there would have been pews right up at one time. And these are the pews. These are really nice and ornate ones, obviously. And the richer you were, the closer to where you sat. That's how it goes. We have a photo on that verse. Look at that for an organ. The really wealthy people would have been in here. So these are crypts and their tombs. That's a right monument, isn't it? Harrington tomb. So this tomb commemorates John First Lord Harrington, who died in 1347, and his wife, Joan. So they were actually buried inside church, the Harringtons, which is what we're saying outside. The more money you've got, the more wealthy you were, the closer inside to inside you got. Harringtons were obviously very wealthy people, Lord. So he's got right near altar. Him and his wife. Old Fred and uh, Ethel, who just were like lived in village. They'd have been down at bottom of churchyard, uh, somewhere like that. But all your, all your really wealthy people got close to do. I'm a vast knowledge of useless information, uh, and that's we spend the majority of my life as an undertaker. Just going to put that round there. I love this place. I've been in Cartmel uh, Church a couple of times. In fact, we bought a Virgin Mary. I am the bread of life. That's lovely. Uh, yeah, we bought a, a Virgin Mary from here, and it is gorgeous. Another one there, look. Who had some money. This is where this gentleman is buried. What a bloody monument. What an absolutely beautiful thing. In loving memory of Edward Cavendish, son of William, Duke of Devonshire. That's of house. No chats with Nero's. Here we go. So, son of William, the seventh Duke of Devonshire, and Blanche Georgina, his wife, born January 28th, 1838, died 18th, 1991, 1891. This memorial plaque was placed here by his brother and sisters, Harrington, Louise, Egbert, and Lucy Cavendish. So Cavendish family, Chatsworth House, part of that lot.
And I ain't got nothing against him. Don't get me wrong. If uh, Kevin Dishes have got on me YouTube and he's thinking, well, he's all right, old foggy. He's only in Sheffield. I'll invite him for a cup of tea and then sees this and thinks, well, why shouldn't we be put in the church? We've got more money. Well, gone off that man. I think you should be in church. That's why, if you honestly believe that by being put there, you're going to get closer to heaven or get in quicker, fine, not a problem. They're very trustworthy. Cameras watching everything. There's no honesty box in this church. Well, if there is, it's protected by CCTV. Thieves will be undrawn and quartered. So. But absolutely, there's nobody here, look. There's a two. Look at that. The lowest of the low steal from cemeteries and churches. Scum a society. Some things are sacred. That's what decent people believe. See a God? Uh, some people, some, that's what we believe anyway, decent people. Some things are sacred. And if you can't say no nice, don't say no at all. Anyway, I'm going to end my tour now because I've took you around Carmel. This is a cemetery. Look. But right down the bottom, the bit poor ones. Sticking down there. So I'll go back to my wife. Uh, so she can set her out here as well. Oh, she's squirted. Don't look at that squirter. You want to say bye bye, Sid? Uh, bye bye, everybody. <laughs> say bye bye, Cheryl. Bye. So, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> I'm trying to get near her, but she's like, shift that camera, squirting me with now. It's a dog spray. Uh, right, we're going. I'll uh, upload this at some point today genuinely I love reading the comments that you leave I love that you press that like button when you've watched this and I love that you've subscribed share us channel the more people who does it the more I think well it's worth doing that it's difficult YouTube because realistically you never know if anybody's going to watch it or not so thanks for everybody who presses like to it Thank you for them that subscribe and thanks for leaving me a comment. I'll answer as many comments as I possibly can do. I read them all. Uh, I haven't had one yet from Roger and his bits and doings, so I'm still looking for that, Roger, because uh, we are on about buying an over. And I'll catch you all later. You take care, everybody. Have a lovely day. God bless. <laughs>